Welcome guys, in this new video I'm going to show you how we can use the power of AI to reuse uh, pictures in dating apps so we can just use the same pictures on unlimited dating apps accounts. So as you can see here um, I have a few Tinder accounts and if we start swiping you can see that they are alive. Now we are going to live create and verify three accounts with only two pictures. On the left side I have the original pictures and on the right side I have uh, the AI copies from the profile picture. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to live generate the AI verification copies. We're going to put the verification images on the bot and we're going to select the verifications option. We could select um, the change face or change biometrics option but in this case it's not really necessary so we are just going to select verifications and press start and wait we have the new verification images ready so now we can start creating accounts now we're going to start verifying the accounts this is the first account so let's send it and wait Okay, we got verified. Let's go on to the second account. Okay, here we have the second one. Same process. Let's send it and wait. Okay, successful also. And we're gonna do a third one. Okay, and successful too. So like that, we've got three accounts with only two pictures, all the same pictures, but modified with AI. Now we are gonna check if the accounts are alive. So we are gonna start for this one. <coughs> We're gonna do a couple of swipes. Try to, okay, we got a match. We're going to try to send a message and as you can see it's going through and we have some likes already. So this one is live. Let's check another one. <clears throat> this one for example. As you can see we already have 100 likes. Let's try to send the message. Let's see. Let's try with this dude. And as you can see, it's working. I'm going to show you now some samples of the different images that we can get with the bot. This would be an example of high modification settings. So the first one is the AI modified one and the other one is the original one. As you can see, it's changing the whole structure of the image, clothes, background, even hair. This would be an example of low modification settings. Uh, as you can see, uh, there are lots of changes happening here, background, clothes, hair. But the main difference is that the, the original structure is more preserved than with high modification settings. I'm going to show you now a few examples of uh, biometrics changing. So you can see we have here like three different faces. Here you can see an example of face changing. We have three different faces here. As you can see, very good quality changes. I'm going to show you now the generation process. So first of all, we're going to drop all the images we want to modify on the bot. Then we're going to select all the options we want. And then we can also select the level of modification that we want, higher or, or lower. Uh, it's important that we can stack as many options as we want. So we can select multiple options and just press start. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we've got all the results. As you can see, it took 4 minutes to process 20 images, which is very impressive. If we check the metadata of the images, you can see that they have um, real device metadata. In this case, they have iPhone metadata. So this is because we used um, the emulate metadata option. Also here you can see a uh, comparison between the original image and one of the generated ones. So why use a bot at all? when we can just ask um, model for pictures. Well, to start with, um, it just saves time. So that's my number one um, advantage on using this. Um, also, when you ask your models uh, for pictures, it's not the most easy and straightforward process ever. And usually, the more images you ask, the more shit they get. So yeah, um, with the bot you just press a button, you get new images, and boom, 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 more accounts, more accounts, more money, that's it. Then for scalability, um, it's just obvious. If you have uh, like more than five models and you need to keep producing accounts for all of them, it, it's just more scalable to do it this way. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you have uh, any kind of questions or you want to check out my, my Telegram group, you can join in, you can ask me anything. So good luck and see you on the next one.